What a lovely strong dog. What a beautiful forest. What a lovely nature. Care for the environment. Care for the earth. Attention, please. It is the time for reading class. Hurry up. Billy's dad talk Billy and Jack and Chicky Sweetie back. He gave them both a kiss. Are you sure you're okay out here? Billy said, I. Big Billy, we'll be kids now. Big people kiss to get gay. Big Jack says, well, not us. Big Jack, Billy says, my exit up the tank. Billy and Jack lie in here sleeping back at the bit of my sign onto the tank while Jack talks, but not much. Inside the tank, it is really dark and really quiet. What time is it? Billy asked Jack. Jack turned on his switch and looked at his watch. My team, he said. Hmm, said Billy. It's still a long time until midnight. Billy is a shirt you should have kept it in the dark. It was much more fun during the day. But she like really quietly because she doesn't want Jack to think she's scared. Maybe we could just have the feast now, Jack said. No, silly, says Billy. Then it won't be a midnight feast. Then it would be a nice king feast. Of course, says Jack. He pushed it off the torch. Then he turned it on again. I prefer to leave the torch on, he said. So we can tell where it's right now. Good idea, says Billy. She wondered if Jack is old to achieve the skill of the dog. Billy and Jack, Billy and Jack lie down into their sleeping bag. They lie side by side and listen to the sound of the night. Billy, Jack stood up. Did you hear that? He said. He asked. What? Said Billy. Sit up too. Then she heard a noise. It sounded like a loud growling. What's that? Jack. I don't know, says Billy. She feels scared. The grounding sound get louder. Billy and Jack hear a knock on me, just outside the tent crack. Then a door shut them, slips across the tent wall. A monster! Billy and Jack turn together. Mom! Dad! 